one day one concept today we want to understand the difference between emf electromotive force and potential difference difference emf electromotive force first it is associated with the device which converts some form of energy into electrical energy if there is no device we should not talk about emf for example bulb we cannot talk about emf there is no conversion of any other energy into electrical energy bulb only consumes electrical energy into light energy so their emf is not applicable electromotive force is applicable for conversion of some form of energy into electrical energy we define what is voltage actually it is emf the work done per coulomb of positive charge or the energy supplied energy converted to one coulomb of positive charge is called emf it is associated with the conversion electromotive force is the energy converted to electrical energy because of this conversion there is a creation of potential difference that potential difference we call as a emf it is also potential difference but that is associated with conversion of energy so what is the difference between now uh, what is the difference first we will strike with an uh, example the concept a battery charge circuiter just you connected the plain wire still the battery is having emf of 12 volt means it converts 12 joule of energy per coulomb of positive charge but the potential difference between the terminals of the battery is zero so the potential energy the potential difference between the terminals of the battery is zero that means potential difference is different than the emf still battery is having emf of 12 volt but the potential difference comes becomes zero between the terminals of the battery the potential so potential difference is uh, different emf is different so we have so now we have when current flows through the battery the internal resistance as we purchase the battery the internal resistance of the battery becomes higher initially it is negligible but as we go along the internal resistance increases the graph shows how internal resistance increases over the time because of the internal resistance the potential difference and emf difference comes so when we have a battery not connected in circuit or open circuit if we measure the voltage then there is no current flow then the emf of the battery and potential difference will be same here this we are using as a definition we are habituated to use as this definition when battery is not connected when battery is in open circuit the potential difference between the terminal is emf like that we are habituated but it is of course true but what is the concept you have to understand so when we connect the battery in the circuit emf is 12 volt means there is a conversion of 12 joule of energy per positive coulomb of charge that creates a difference potential difference 12 volt that we have but as the internal resistance increases the potential difference differs internal resistance increases the potential difference decreases so now that we are looking for you see let us take 12 volt battery the internal resistance got developed at 20 ohm we connected a 100 ohm bulb even though emf is 12 volt that means 12 joule of energy conversion takes place every positive coulomb of charge there is a 2 volt drop in the 20 ohm resistance because of the current flow we get available terminal potential difference only 10 volt for usage so potential difference between the terminals of the battery is only now 10 volt there is a 2 volt drop this 2 volt will get dropped only if current flows so when the battery is connected in the resistance uh connected in the circuit uh, <coughs> uh, 
Okay. Now we can see the experiment. When we purchase the battery, initially the internal resistance is only 1 ohm. The EMF is 12 volt. The potential difference also will be ideally 11.9 12 volt only. So potential difference and EMF matches. But when after 3 months of usage, the internal resistance will be 20 ohm. EMF is still 12 volt. But there is a drop in internal resistance due to current flow 2 volt. So we get available potential difference only 10 volt. After 6 months, the battery is getting developed a 50 ohm internal resistance. Still EMF is uh, 12 volt. It is independent of the quantity of the chemical material. It will generate 12 volt uh, potential difference due to energy conversion. Now 50 ohm internal resistance if current flows then there is a drop of 4 volt then we get only 8 uh, volt available potential difference for usage. So potential difference of the terminals of the battery is different than the EMF of the battery. <coughs> now it gives an idea that then EMF should be higher than or equal to the potential difference of the battery. Can the terminal potential difference of the cell exceeds EMF? Of course. When we are charging the battery, battery absorbs energy, then V equal to E plus IR. In that case, the potential difference of the terminals of the battery can be higher than its EMF. That is a question. So, what is the concept uh, today? Electromotive force is associated to device which converts some form of energy into electrical energy. That uh, conversion Conversion of some form of energy creates a potential difference. That potential difference associated with the conversion of energy is called electromotive force. That is also volt. Potential difference is between two. It is applicable for two different points in the circuit. It may be between the two points of a bulb or resistor or of course a battery. They are only if potential difference between the battery as in the circuit is different than the EMF which is associated with conversion of uh, some form of energy into electrical energy.